Hey guys, Mike here again. Smoking my uh, cob. I don't really know what kind of cob this is, but. <clears throat> and in it, Boswell's Piper's Pleasure. Delicious. So, today I felt. I saw a couple videos last night of uh, people showing their pipe collections. So I thought I would do that today. Now I'm going to warn you right now, most of these pipes I would say, you know what, I think all of them, I don't think any of them are really name brand anything that anybody would know. And the rest of them I got an estate sale, <clears throat> if it's stamped on there I'll say the name, I have no idea if it's good or not. But we'll see. Maybe you guys know something that I don't. So my first ever pipe that I ever bought is a Brindisi. I got this from a uh, a. Uh, let me see if I can turn some more light on in here. Let's see if that makes it. Even, oh, there we go. Much better. I got this from a smoke shop. And legitimately, the first time I ever smoked a pipe, uh, I tried when I was younger. It never worked. I didn't know how to do it. Um, so I legitimately went in to a smoke shop. I was just driving, and I was like, ah, I want to smoke a pipe. It's literally how it happened. So I walked in, and this there was this little tiny Indian guy. I swear, he must have been four feet tall. And uh, I was like, I want to get a pipe, and I want some tobacco. And he was like, you ever smoked before? I said, nope have no idea, but I want it. So he pulled out a bunch of glass pipes. And I was like, no, not that kind of pipe. I want tobacco pipe. And he was like, oh, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> and uh, he pulled out some cobs and, well, what I know is cobs now, it was the cheaper ones are than these. I think this cost me $25. It's actually a really nice pipe. It sits really nice in the mouth. It's got a nice curve. It's really like clean, you know. So that's my first pipe ever. Uh, then I got, this I know is a Mr. Brog, number 43. <clears throat> very cool smoking pipe, very nice looking pipe. I really do enjoy this pipe. I think this one cost me, what, 10 bucks or something like that on eBay. It's, uh, it's not briar, it's cherry wood, I believe. But it's got a really nice thick stem. That's my softy bit, but I mean, just shows. You don't have to go expensive to have a good pipe. Uh, then I got this. I don't know. It's stamped Israel on it. I don't remember where I got it, but it's pretty freaking cool. I guess you would call this an egg shape. Umpol. It's got a really sick seat. If anybody knows what that logo is, I have no idea. But it's got a really cool little design on it. It's got some rustication around it. Nice, neat looking pipe. I do not remember, I think I got this on eBay as well, I got 99.9% .9 of my pipes on eBay. Uh, I think I paid like $20, $30 for this, I don't even remember. Super big bowl, which is why I liked it, because I wanted a nice big bowl, I'm a big guy, I'm 6'4", 245, so I need a big pipe. <clears throat> Anybody knows where to get jumbos, I'm all about it, cheap jumbos. I don't like to spend three or $400 on a pipe, I don't find it necessary. But teach their own. Um, I got this one in an estate auction off of eBay, which I cleaned up and did a little bit of rustication on. Uh, not a rustication, rest of, um, I cleaned it up. This is called uh, House of Westminster, LTD. There's the stamp.
Very cool looking boom pole. This used to be like one of my main smokes. I legitimately smoked this one like at least four times a week. And then would go to the rest of them. I lost my tamper. Here it is. This Piper's Pleasure is delicious. And a little America's Choice iced tea. I would like to be, uh, drinking this, but I have school tonight, so no drinking. All right, these two are my church wardens. These are both Mr. Brog's church wardens. I got both of them on eBay. Okay, I'm sorry, I said the other one before. This one was stamped Mr. Brog's 43. This one has the same stamp on it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's 13, not 43. 13. Apologize. The stamp is not that deep. <clears throat> it's got a, uh, a wind cover on it. Twisted long shank into a nice little thin stem. Nice little pipe. I well, I've never smoked this. Not once. I just like the way it looked. Um, the things with these Mr. Brogs, I'm not going to lie. The shanks, the um, the bevels here, they tend to loosen up after a little bit. And they're not acrylic or anything. They're wood. So I don't know how to fix that. I guess if you put some paper around it or you know something, you can make it sit tighter. But I have no idea. These stay, this, the, the mouthpieces are in there pretty damn good. And they do, I think they do hold filters. I don't smoke filters, so. Very cool. And then I got this other Mr. Brog, which is a number 16. This one I've smoked a couple of times. You have to also see, like, you can see where I, uh, where my lighter has hit. It kind of pulls the finish off. But... What are you going to do? I think these pipes were uh, $17, $18, something like that. Probably even cheaper. Same thing, same. It's it's really nothing. But And the mouthpiece on this one, I think, is... Oh, that one's in there pretty damn good. A little short mouthpiece. Nice pipe, so it smokes really well. And it really pulls some serious flavor. Like, I'm going to tell you honestly, I've smoked a lot of tobaccos in this, and it really does pull some serious flavor. It's just uh, this wood shank portion right here that is no good. But good pipes. Very cheap. Mr. Brog's on eBay. Very cheap stuff. Good stuff, though. He's got really cool designs. I have a lot of pipes. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because I'm going uh, a little slow. This I got in, a, um, in an estate sale as well. This is a Medico gold gold crest a little short one you might see if you're on Instagram you've probably seen me smoke this one before I like this little nose warmer a little stubby pretty cool with the little short mouthpiece gold band here really nice the uh, the finish on it I think somebody tried to refinish it and I just used some paragon some Paragon Wax. This stuff, if you have smooth pipes, this stuff works amazingly to clean them up. This stuff really does nicely. You put it on with your finger and you buff it off, and it really brings the shine out. <clears throat> so it's to make your pipes look their best. So, uh, cool little stub. I also have... This one I got at a yard sale. Literally, I was driving by in Pennsylvania, where my summer home is, and... Um, I got these for like two fifty a piece from a yard sale. It's got a, it was all used. I cleaned them up. I bleached the stems. I didn't really do too much with these. This is a long. I don't even know what you would call this. If anybody knows what this one is, let me know. I don't know what you would call these. If they're uh, Dublin's or 
but smokes great. Really nice. 250 at a yard sale. I cleaned it up. And <clears throat> this one, I got the same thing. This was also 250. Same place. There are no markings on them. No stamps. But this is a longer stem, shorter shank, and I think it's a bigger bowl. This one's taller. And the bowl size is uh this one smokes really well. I don't know if it's because of the bowl size, but this one smokes very, 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 very well. Really brings flavors out. This one does all right. Um, I use it on stuff like aromatic. I mean, uh, Englishes because I don't really worry about the what it tastes like so much. This is more for like the sweet. This one I got in this state. So this is a Medico just crest. Looks like it's wrapped in leather. Pretty cool, this one you can see. I bleached it, but the guy was chewing the crap out of it. I have to get a new stem for this. I just never uh, does it. If anybody knows where I can buy stems for Medicos and stuff like that, let me know. Because, again, around here in the city, and I live in New York City, basically, and um, in Queens, and there is one tobacconist that I go to, and he has no idea where to get this stuff. And I need to get all new stems for some of these. This is another Medico that I got in an estate sale. pretty decent cool pipe again he chewed the stems I have no idea where to get them I given I gave him two of these pipes and I asked him to look for them and he came back with nothing so I have no if anybody knows let me know this is another Medico that I got again from the same state sale this guy didn't chew this one so bad I got a lot of pipes in this estate sale. I think I spent $60 and I got 12 or 16 pipes I mean <clears throat> I'll tell you May not be the best things, but this is a Medico number nine or seventy nine. Medico Crest, cool looking pipe. I guess this is a bulldog shape. I would say, I don't know, maybe. Um, I like this thing. I would like to have a little thinner. I think some of them are, are thinner and bigger. I want to get one of those. Those are really cool. But I like the the shank on this. How they're diamonds, pretty cool. So that's off of one shelf. Hold on one second, bear with me. I should have prepared this a little bit better, I apologize. But I'll get them all set up for you so then I can just run through them pretty quickly. I have a, a bunch more. Not really a bunch, 10 or 11 more, something like that. <clears throat> So this is a, uh, a Jet. I got the same estate sale. This guy chewed on this one too. Pretty neat looking pipe. <clears throat> Some really nice bird's eye. Oh, it's dusty. I haven't smoked this one. and I've never smoked this one, to be honest with you. Pretty cool. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is, a, uh, I guess, an Apple. This is a Medico... I don't know, it's got a 14 karat gold ring on it. Pretty cool pipe, I've smoked that one before. This one smokes very nice. Holds the tender really nice, keeps the wind out. Smokes very nice. <clears throat> this is a Filtro. Oh, I'm sorry. Iorenzo Filtro. I know I bought this one online. It's got a really decent shape to it. There's the marking on the stem for you guys that know markings. It's got a really wicked shape. You see how like the wood curves? It's really cool. Nice look to it. Smokes very nice. Again, these are all cheap. I, I don't think I spent. I spent the, the most I spent on a pipe was my Meersham, which was 125. And then uh, I'm waiting on my Joe Case. My Joe Case is coming, hopefully in a couple days. He sent me an email saying it's on his way. Uh, really excited about that. that. I'll have a box opening on for that one. This is a Medico Standard. Nice black pipe. You know, if you've seen my other videos, I say I like weird and unusual things. I There's probably nothing here that's weird and unusual, huh? <laughs> but it's got a really nice bowl. It's it, it's You know what? It's thin, so it gets hot. I like to smoke pretty quick. So this does get hot, but 
good pipe. Very good pipe. This one is a Alpha. I won a bid on eBay for this one. I just like the shape of it. Didn't know what it was, anything like that. Smokes very nice. Very cool look to it. The only thing is it... Oh, it does stand. It stands by itself. If this was a little bit more bent, which I might do myself, I think it would be really cool. But serious grain on this. Really good looking pipe. Cool stuff. Almost done. I know I'm boring the hell out of you guys. And then I have my cobs, which I've showed you before. My Missouri Mearshams. This is my Fifth Avenue. <clears throat> my MacArthur. The big one. Love this pipe. My Freehand. Really sick pipe. I have not smoked these yet. I'm actually waiting for it to get a little nicer out so I can go up to my summer home. Sit around a nice campfire, drink some beers, and smoke these wonderful pipes. Um, then I have... If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I put up some pipes. I dabble in a lot of stuff, so I made some pipes. This was the first one I made. This one I bought a kit for, and uh, it's a poker. This is my version of rustification. <clears throat> and then I did smooth on the other side. The smooth side came out really good. A lot of fine sanding. I think I did a 600 grit paper on this just to really smooth it out. And then this I had no idea how to do rustification like I said this was my first pipe that I made it's very big very bulky very heavy but it smokes really good and it's really thick walls so it holds it the, like I said I like to smoke fast that's my rustification I know Sparky pipes Joe case you're all out there laughing at me <laughs> this is a, I literally used I think an engraving tool on a Dremel and just bored some holes in here I don't know not bad that's my homemade poker. And then I made, I ordered a, uh, another kit with the stem on it and I made what I call the honey pot. This one actually smokes really nice. And uh, I don't remember how I came upon this. I think it was an accident. I think I was, uh, when I make these, I made these all handmade. I used a coping saw just to cut like some shape in it. And then um, it's just my sandpaper my hand in sand and I just sand the crap out of it and shape it that way and I use a Dremel for little things here and there just the sanding wheel just to you know shape it up a little bit and um, this one kind of happened as an accident I don't remember how but looks really cool that's my honey pot and then this is the last one I made which was like a long pretty cool I made a couple of other ones. If you're on Instagram, you've seen the other two that I made, that I made for my friends, actually, that I work with. They're uh, the only other two guys that I know around here that smoke pipes, besides on YouTube. So, <clears throat> that's my other pipe. That's pretty much it. Oh, and this corn cob, which you've seen already. Oh, and I have, uh, you've all seen my Meerschaum. This guy. A little beast. He is made by Jay Boglone. I don't know if I said that right. Sorry if I completely ruined your name. You've all seen that one. And then I have uh, I have a mini one around here somewhere too. That's a a skull, a skull and claw. Really cool. Well, I've wasted enough of your time for today. Uh, that's my pipe collection. I'm going to do another video with my tobaccos for now and see what we got. Thanks for taking the uh, the time out to watch my videos. Thank you for all my new subscribers. Um, and thanks for everybody else out there making videos and stuff like that. Uh, keep the info coming. You guys, are, you guys are feeding me. I love it. All right, so this is Mike signing out. Be safe. Have a great day.